Hey guys, it's Dan here with Straight Up Tech again, and today I wanted to bring you a quick video on how to overclock your graphics card in 2017. Specifically, I wanted to cover the features of the EVGA Precision X OC tool that allows you to overclock your graphics card and get an uh, extra amount of performance out of it over the stock settings of the graphics card. So keep watching. All right, so a lot of you have probably seen some of the other videos out there, some more famous YouTubers, but I wanted to cover some of these features from a perspective of my own. So this, um, so for, for those of you who haven't tuned into my channel before, I built a X99 system last year with a GTX 1070 EVGA for the win edition. And that graphics card is just your standard um, 1070 for the win EVGA, which comes with a base clock of 1607 and a boost clock of 1,797 megahertz, with the effective memory clock being 8,008 megahertz, total of 1,920 CUDA cores, eight gigs of GDDR5 memory. For those of you who don't really understand overclocking, overclocking is the giving you the ability to up the speed of your graphics card, typically by increasing the power limits and temperature limits a bit in order to squeak out just a little bit of extra performance. The majority of these graphics cards will overclock um, a fair amount, not like you know 600 megahertz or anything like that crazy that I've ever heard of, but um, from what I've been testing out, um, I think you guys would be uh, quite pleased. All right guys, so I'm gonna set this to default and then we're gonna run the Unigen Heaven Benchmark tool to uh, see where we're at. So I'm gonna let this run for just a little bit, let our temps get ramped up, and then I'm gonna run through and run the actual benchmark tool here so we can watch and see how well this turns out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start that. And here we go. So gonna let this run through and find out our final scores. guys so we ended up getting a um, average FPS of 83.2 with a total score of 2097 this is at the stock settings so I'm gonna save that off so we can come back to it a little bit later here so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right to a setting that I know is probably my max overclock and basically what that is, is I set the power voltage or the power settings up or the voltage settings up all the way to 100%. That doesn't mean that I'm giving it X amount more. I'm just saying that it can hit the 100% mark of voltages allowed. Also, I set the power targets and temp targets up all the way so that it could go beyond the stock settings for that as well. I did set the fan curves a bit steep here so you can see that once we really start picking up temps to just automatically start ramping up the fan. Um, the whole goal here is to keep those temps down so noise is gonna be a definite sacrifice um, you have to make if you wanna do overclocking as well as keep those temps down. 
And then I set my GPU clock offset up to 155. So um, that I found to be the most stable. I've tried 160, I got it to stable out, but after a while, um, it seemed like it, it become unstable and it started uh, crashing Unigen uh, heaven here. So um, what I ended up doing was backing that off to the 155 mark and it seemed pretty stable there. And I tried it over in a few other games and stuff and it seemed somewhat stable there as well. So um, that's the whole goal is it might be stable in one application but others you may not be stable so you want to make sure you test it in several to find that optimum overclock that's going to work across all your games all right so we're going to go ahead and apply um, that overclock and and that's set there with the 155 with those higher um, fan curves and also I'm going to go ahead and run um, the benchmark again and see where we land after that. I'm going to let my temps creep back up to a somewhat uh, stable temp range and then to start the benchmark from there. Alright, so our temps are starting to peak up there finally. I'm going to go ahead and run this now. Alright guys here, so we've got a average FPS of 85.8 with a total score of 2161 uh, after we've up this to the 155 megahertz uh, boost or above boost so not too shabby um, I might add that I would say is a pretty good addition to the overclock because that's um, just that much more um, frames per second that you can grab um, with little you know to hardly no effort essentially in order to get that now granted I took out a lot of the hard work there. Um, this could take you several retries to get the right um, overclock or you might just get lucky and hit the right speeds at first and then try a little bit more and realize you're, you're becoming unstable and you may do that fairly quickly. So watch some other guys videos and see and try for yourself what uh, might be stable for you but you can use some of those other guys or even this video as a baseline to try those out. Just depends on how well you won the Silicon Lottery, whether you're gonna get a graphics card that's gonna overclock a lot better than some, um, but yet again, um, with graphics cards, sometimes there's not a lot of variance in what you can get out of them, uh, nearly as much as with uh, CPUs and such. All right, here, so you can see that on the right is the benchmark that we took. Um, I saved off for the 155 megahertz. And then here you can see this, this is the stock um, benchmark I took. So just based on the average FPS, we're gaining um, three to four FPS here but as you were watching some of that video you could see that um, the FPS went quite a bit higher and stayed quite a bit higher than that even then um, for the most part and also you're also gaining here you can see uh, a score um, of roughly about a hundred um, points on the Unigen uh, Heaven benchmark test this isn't the best um, testing tool out there but it is the quickest and easiest. Unigen also has the superposition, the valley, and then there's the heaven benchmark tool. The superposition is a good one. Um, that's a little bit of a newer refresh of their um, heaven benchmark 
and we'll try that out in a later video and see how well that performs um, and does for us over the standard Unigen Heaven benchmark. So from a scoring standpoint, we're gonna gain about 3%. That's pretty good. Um, you're not gonna gain large amounts, but enough that's gonna really help you in a lot of games and give you that extra performance boost. Plus also, it's a lot of fun. I find a lot of fun in benchmarking and also um, just playing around with these tools. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you do, please like, uh, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. But if you wanna see more of these types of videos coming up in the future, please let me know down in the comment section below. I plan on going more this route with um, showing off more PC gaming items such as gaming headphones or keyboards, but more importantly I hope to bring you a lot more benchmarks and gameplay as well in the near future. So, um, But enough of that, hope you guys liked it, and until next time, stay safe and we will catch you on the next one.